Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. The world of farming is changing. From the power and versatility of Steiger and Magnum tractors to the legendary reliability of axial flow combines, Case IH can help you be ready. To learn more, visit caseih.com forward slash be ready. I've had a lot of questions about the new tank regulations that farmers are going through for their bulk pesticide tanks, so we thought we'd go into a little bit more detail on some of the requirements. When it comes to tank lids and any openings, as we mentioned before, they have to be sealable with a tamper-evident device. Now, this includes the main lid, but it also includes all access points into the tank, except for any vents that you may have. This means you must have a way to seal the tank in a way that lets the refiller and the end user know if that tank has been opened. A zip tie placed through the lid and through a tab on the tank is what we'll typically see on these tanks. When it comes to the bottom drain valves, they must either have an anti-backflow valve or be sealable with a tamper evident device. Now many tanks with a bottom valve have a cam lock type cap. Now when you have those cam lock caps, they've got two loops on them and you could put potentially a zip tie right through the loops there. Now that's one way that you could make your tank meet these new requirements. Valves that are not sealable must have anti-backflow protection to be legal. Now that means they are using a one-way valve. So you could drain product out of the tank, but you can't load product back into the tank through that valve. There are certainly lots of different types of tanks out there, and I'm sure you probably have some questions about this tank or that tank that you may be using. If you do, talk to your chemical dealer, or you can find more information at agphd.com. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.